Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paperboy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. Good morning, AHS, and welcome to the last episode of AHS News for the Year. I'm Reagan. And I'm Kate. Today is Tuesday, June 11th. Final exams begin tomorrow. Here is the exam schedule with period A first at 8.30 a.m. Note that period G exam begins at 8.15 a.m. on the next Monday. Best of luck to everyone on final exams. The Andover Theatre Arts Spring Production, Two Plays, took place in May. We caught up with some of the cast to talk about the plays. This is a test, and oh, what a tangled web. Who am I here with? I so so. And what was your role in the plays at AHS? I was an assistant director. And what was your favorite part about the plays? Um, probably the rehearsal process. It was really nice seeing the show go from like, you know, something a little clunky <laughs> to like a real living, breathing production. Thank you so much. Who am I here with? Audrey Fiore. And what were your roles or role in the HS plays? Um, I was acting. I was playing the mom in the second play, Oh, What a Tangled Web. And what was your favorite part about acting in that play? Um, I thought they were really fun. Uh, they were like the first comedies that we've done in a while. So that was a good time. Thank you. What are you listening to? Let's take a look at the fourth and final episode of AHS Listens To. I'm Ada. I'm Carissa. And this is our final Spotify segment. Yay! <laughs> Hi, who am I here with? Christina. Oh my god, a breath. <laughs> <laughs> who am I here with? Christina. And what song have you been listening to recently? Euphoria by Kendrick Lamar. Thank you. <laughs> And what would you rate that out of 10? Six, maybe. Yeah. And um, what's a song you can give us? It's called Bat Country by Avenged Sevenfold. All right, thank you. I'm really nervous. I'm this nervous. song is from Mr. Hurley. So this is <gasps> my <king. laughs> Oh my god. Who am I here with? Kai Cruz. And what do you rate this song out of 10? Day, that's a decent 8 out of 10 for me. And what's the song you've been listening to recently? Um, Champagne Supernova by Oasis. Champagne Supernova. Who am I here with? Ewan. And what do you rate this song out of 10? Probably a 6. And what's the song you've been listening to recently? Uh, Them Changes by Thundercat. Hi guys, this is Carissa, and she's gonna review Them Changes by Thundercat, and then give me a song. I think this song is very groovy. 7 out of 10. <laughs> What's your song for me? Um, my song for AIDS McClellan is Kehlani by Jordan Adetunji. Lit. Here we have AIDS McClellan, 17 years old, ready to rate the song that was given to her, Kehlani by Jordan Adetunji. Um, okay, um, <clears throat> I think, hi Smeet, I think I'm gonna give, I think I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because my, my partner in crime, Carissa, recommended it to me, and thank you, thank you all for being here. <laughs> Hello, AHS. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Hello, AHS. If, if you've been with us as a team since the Jason DeJesus segment and since the Spotify segment began, we're so grateful for you. This is our last episode as a pair. This is our outro. Any, any final words? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the seniors may be gone, but that doesn't mean the parking has improved. We're here from the AHS parking lot. Now that the seniors are gone, let's see how the juniors and sophomores do. To start it off, we have a teacher who definitely parked over the line on this side. Bruh. Uh, besides that, back in a good amount. Not sticking out too much. Probably rated a three. <laughs> Next up, we got this Lexus. Pretty solid parking job. A little slanted, but distance is good. Not too far out, not too far in. I'd say seven out of 10. Could have strained out a little bit, but Unlike these two, at least we're in our spot. Speaking of these two cars, this car is a little too forward. Over the line, it's going to be hard for someone else to park here. And this truck, way over the line. This car is almost into the middle of the road. So I'm definitely giving both of them like a six. Do I even have to rate this? It's a little, little close to the curb. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Here we got Yandel's parking job. He's a little on the line, but he's nice and far in. He's not sticking out or anything. He's not too close to the curb, not too far. I give it a nice solid 8 out of 10. We got this Mercedes here. I think it's a solid 10. Perfect parking job. But you might want to close your window with this pollen. Uh, over here we have this Honda CRV. Probably the worst one of the day. If you come over on this side, I mean, right next to the line, wheels turn to the left. It's very crooked. Probably give it a two out of ten. Woo! So here we got a nice electric pickup truck, but my dude's car is so big it doesn't fit in the spot. Uh, it, it gets worse though. He's uh, slammed along the line, and most egregious of all, not to mention this fact that his tires are slanted. He's on the line. How's anyone gonna park here? I give it a nice seven. The Celtics are back in the NBA Finals for the second time in three years. Let's see how AHS students feel about the Celtics' chances to win their first title since 2008. William F. All right, so the finals are coming up, and we want to know, can you name three Celtics players? Yes, I can. Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jason Tatum. That's enough. Thank you. Can you tell me which two teams are in the finals? Celtics and the Mavericks, right? There we go. Lembo and Ryan. Ryan McGonough, pretty cool. We're doing finals trivia. Who is the youngest finals MVP ever? Kobe Bryant. Eh. Tim Duncan. Answer was Magic Johnson. All right, we'll do one more question. What is the Celtics mascot's name? Lucky the Leprechaun. Dang. Can you tell me the Celtics mascot's name? No, I have no idea what it is. Which Celtics player won Eastern Conference Finals MVP this season? Jalen Brown. There it is. There you go, Coop. <laughs> Which NBA player won three championships, left the sport, went to baseball, then came back and won three more? Michael Jordan. There it is. Before the seniors left, we decided to interview some of them and highlight the colleges that they're going to. I'm Ada. I'm Carissa. And we're back. And today we're interviewing seniors about colleges. Chester Institute of Technology! Suffolk University. Suffolk University! Northeastern! <laughs> University of Massachusetts Lowell. Read my shirt, bro. University of Massachusetts Lowell! University of Massachusetts Lowell! And where are you going to college? Uh, NYU. New York University! I'm going to the University of Vermont. University of Vermont! McGill. McGill University. McGill! Carl Science and Forestry. SUNY Environmental College. Environmental Science. Environmental College Science, Environmental Science. Environmental Science. Con. University.
City of Connecticut. University of Connecticut. University of Connecticut. University of Connecticut. University of South Carolina. Villanova University. Okay. Ithaca College. Ithaca College. Northeastern. University of Northeastern. Northeastern University. Northeastern University. Northeastern <laughs> University of Wentworth. <laughs> Endicott College. Endicott College. Georgetown University. Georgetown University. University of Tampa. Cornell University. American University. Hawaii University. Dominic Mazzarella. Where you go to school? Providence. She did it for me. UMass Amherst. University of Massachusetts Amherst. It's Amherst. That's Amherst. University of Massachusetts Amherst. UMass Amherst Eisenberg. Savannah College of Art and Design. Bentley University. Bentley University. Bentley University. Ole Miss. Pennsylvania State University. Okay. All right, go. Who am I here with? Santi Miranda. Where are you going to school? European University. European University Madrid. As the year is winding down, let's put students' music knowledge to the test with the Name That Tune game. Alright, who am I here with? It's me. Alright, ready? Name the song. Band what? Band band. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the name. You know? I don't know, man. You don't have a guess? Final nope. Answer. Give me a final answer. Does it start with band? Band. <laughs> band and and something. Like Alright, who am I here with? Ryan Schwartz. It's Steph Lumbo. Alright, um, guess the song. <laughs> Brody's. Brody's. That's nope. Brody's. That's Brody's by Gunner. Oh, yes, it is. Ah, Stuby. Stuby checking out. Stuby. <laughs> Whether they're on the beach, camping, or just hanging out with friends, let's find out what Andover High students have on their summer 2024 playlist. I'm Regan Logue, and welcome to AHS's summer playlist segment. What's a song you'll be listening to this summer? Just Wanna Rock. Body yaddy yaddy. Hit it once, no time. Shut up, fuck you, gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my side. What's a song on your 2024 summer playlist? OMFG by Hello. We're here in the snack shack. Who am I here with? Patty. And what are you gonna be listening to this summer? All classic rock. I love it all. Awesome choice. And what's a summer song on your playlist? Island in the Sun by Weezer. You know, I have to go with uh, Afterlife by Five Finger Death Punch. Great band, great beat, great for hitting PRs. And what's the song you'll be listening to this summer? Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. What's a song on your summer 2024 playlist? Helen Back by Bakar. Good one. My head was that when you found me. Me and you went to uh, Summer by uh, Calvin Harris. Thank when you. I met you in the summer. To my heartbeat sound. Nine to five by Dolly Parton. Nine to five. What a way to make a living heaven. Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. With a dream, my cardigan. Me, myself, and I by G Easy. A million dollar baby. Thank you. Uh, I pretty much will probably listen to Purple Haze. I really like Jimi Hendrix, and I will listen to a lot of Jimi Hendrix this summer. And what's a song on your summer playlist this year? 
probably side by side by Earth, Wind, and Fire. A Saint Pablo by Kanye West. Thank you. They know people trying to say I'm going crazy on Twitter. My friends best sit And advice. what will you be listening to this summer? Uh, Kehlani by Jordan Adetunji. Is that too obvious? Okay, I like your confidence. Oh, this one could come is okay. Tennessee Orange by Megan Maroney. I love that one. I'm wearing Tennessee Orange brand. What's a song you'll be listening to this summer? Lady of Namek by Tory Lanez. We're just fresh. Pitch you up with a smile on my face. What's a song that's on your summer 2024 playlist this year? The Spins, Spins by, by Mac Miller. Workout by J. Cole. <laughs> Money Trees by Kendrick. Pick your poison, tell me what you do. Everybody go respect the sh What's a song you'll be listening to this summer? Sorry Barbie by Todrick Hall. Sorry Barbie, toys will be toys. Kids at the party, kissing on boys. Your, your girls are cute, but guys are fun. That's all we have for this episode and the school year. Thanks for tuning in all year. Have a great summer, AHS.